Hi, so this video is about meiosis. Now, meiosis is an excessive constriction of the pupil. Uh, this actually goes along with uh, strabismus and latent hyperopia, spasm of accommodation. Um, and it wasn't something I actually knew about until recently, so now I do know about it, so I'm going to talk about it a bit. Um, so, what the pupil contracts anyway, that, that's a normal thing um, it does when uh, you want to filter out light. So when you're squinting against the sun, your pupils will, will contract uh, to, to filter out the excessive light. Also, when you're bringing something to near focus, uh, your pupils do tend to constrict as well. That's part of filtering out excessive light so that you can see uh, what what's here. So it, it is in part a normal thing. It can also be um, caused by uh, certain drugs, for example, ca caffeine is um, a very obvious one. In fact, caffeine is a meiotic, um, it has a meiotic effect, that means it makes the pupils constrict. Um, another one you might have heard of is cocaine that makes your pupils constrict um, but uh, there we are um, so meiosis in the role of accommodation spasm or um, sp the spasm of near so what happens with this is uh, for people who have spasm of near, you're trying to look at um, something in close focus. It's, I mean, it's usually going to be reading um, and your eyes get stuck because for some people they are trying too hard. Probably they're, they're hyperopic, so they're having to draw in their focus. So they're long-sighted, so they're having to draw in their focus. Um, you know, a lot harder than someone with normal eyesight would. And that's how your eyes get stuck in this sort of spasm. So I've covered that in another video. Um, and there's plenty of information about what spasm of accommodation or spasm of the near triad is. Um, so when you're focusing at near, three things, you do three things. The first thing you'll do is you'll bring your focus in, so that's just dealing with uh, focusing at near. Um, so you will kind of fatten out the eyeball in order to do that. Um, so it, it's a muscular, you'll be using your ciliary muscles to do that. Um, you will also converge, so that means you'll be bringing your eyes to a point, and you will also be constricting or con contracting your pupil um, a little bit. So, with um, the spasm of accommodation. All of these things get out of hand because you're you're trying a bit too hard. Um, so none of them are really coordinating properly with each other, but each separate one is going into overdrive. Um, so you're going to be say if you're going to focus here. A spasm means that your eyes are going to try and focus a little bit further in um, and you might over converge so that could be your eyes crossing um, and your pupils will over contract or one of them 
will over contract. Um, so everything there is going into overdrive and certainly in recent times you've got handheld devices or computers uh, so they're you know they emit light so you've got all this going on and you're over constricting um, one or both pupils um, to filter out light anyway but then you're also looking directly into a light source so you're probably doing it even more because of that and that kind of reminds me when I first started struggling with this it was while I was using a computer so it was at a light source that seemed to be the the trigger um, so yep yeah, that is so that is meiosis um, what it is how it happens and I'll be doing another video with a couple of um, strategies that may actually look at dealing with this um, because there are a lot of um, you know exercises and techniques um, especially ones that look at dealing with convergence and stereo vision um, but certainly for me I think I found that some of the things were working some of the time because I was either working on you know looking at focus or looking at convergence I hadn't taken uh, the meiosis into account um, I didn't actually know about it until now I admit that now I do know about it um, so I'm going to look at really you have to be tackling all three things I think to get a whole response so in my next video I'm going to be looking at one or two things um, to, to look at the meiosis aspect of uh, over accommodation and um, also strabismus uh, is often tied into it as well um, so I'm going to be looking at that in relation to both over accommodation, hyperopia and strabismus as well.